Greetings, Tuba Tubbies. It's me again. Sorry. But this is the next day after I took the engine apart. And it's laying there on the floor, shivering. I don't know why it's shivering, because it's like 80 degrees in here. And uh, it's topical outside. Now yesterday, when you walked outside, you didn't feel, or I didn't feel the temperature. Which means it's pretty close to equal to what I, my skin was. So, uh, that doesn't happen very often. But when you go outside and you don't feel the temperature, you know, everything's normal. Normal for me, anyway. Uh, today I got to greet y'all with a mail call. This one comes from my good little brother, big brother. I'm older than him, so I'm I'm the big brother. Uh, Ron Walsworth, Wally's Place 66. What if I got a sticker from him in here? I think I got it all in the house. I can see him every day. So anyway, here's what he got. He got me package of large white eggs. These are hen eggs, by the way. And I always ask for hen eggs. And they said, what other kind of eggs are they? I said, well, there's lots of eggs. And by the way, spider eggs do not taste like Cocoa Puffs. From one who knows. I didn't have cereal in my life until I got probably 30 years old. We were lucky to have milk. Anyway, Here's what, I done jerked it open. Here's what he sent me. I don't know how many is in here, probably 30, 700. But these are next gen, Pro Shield next gens. So, Ronnie loves me, we know this. I don't know why, but he does. He's got a wonderful family, which I dearly love. And, uh,. Let me just jerk one of these open and see what's going on. Whoa! I was wearing something like this when I came to this planet. Look at that. I'll be wearing this when I paint. If I paint or ain't. I paint. Who knows? I'm wanting to paint my bedroom, by the way. Show the jean, my little, what the heck is that? What do you want? Who is it? Oh, it's a bird. I get followed out here by the butterflies, and I've seen a monarch already today. And they're not supposed to be out, I don't think. I think they just, they come here and then they travel to other places. But I've seen one today. Duh. So they follow me to the door, and then the birds aggravate me the rest of the time. Uh, anyway, thank you, Ronnie. And you know I love you. And I'll wear that stuff in good service. Uh, I might put it on and scare the girls at night sometime. Blah, blah. Won't that be good? I'll have to have somebody else taste my cornflakes, though, for a while, because they'll put something in it. And uh, I keep I keep X lax handy just for that opportunity. I'm not saying that I did or will, but uh, mm, my boss used to say when it when I would bring stuff in from from home. Mmm, I hungry. Well, he was hungry too much one time. He stayed on the pot for two weeks. Anyway, let's. I've got another thing. Not as important as Ronnie saving my life, but uh, it got red all of a sudden. You see this red? This is red, 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 red. And let's go out here. Oh, I do got birds in here now. I don't know if. It's got eggs in it or not. I can't reach that high, but there's birds flying in and out of it. 
Okay, I took the fenders off of this to set the doors better and to do some other things. This would be a great opportunity to figure out why this thing was the two different colors. And you guys that are real good painters, unlike me, uh, please give me an idea on it. Let me get back there where I can see better. <clears throat> Originally, this back half had gray primer on it. And some of the red stuff sticking through from where it used to be red. And then, when I hauled off, I painted the front cap. I painted all of it. I painted the front cap. The front cap had white primer sealer on it. And I sanded a whole bunch of that off. How some ever uh, when you put these fenders and the hood on that red car they don't match they're off a shade or two or three six now could that have been because of the different color primer underneath it I sanded all of it pretty pretty diligently and pretty smoothly with the back half having gray primer and the front half having this white primer sealer stuff could that have made a difference and uh, I've got four coats of red on this supposed to be candy apple red from the mixing paint stuff and I painted these with four coats and then I seen that it didn't work it didn't match so I put another further further two coats on it two more coats at least two coats and uh, they still didn't match so these are the hood and the two fenders are a lighter shade of red than the back half and I would like to fix that before I put this thing back together for the once final last time and if anybody has any ideas I'll hug your neck if you've got an idea that'll do that now this is signal red and what I put on the old Mustang look at that run I gotta rub out I'm getting real good at rubbing out these things. This is what I was trying to change the color again on. I had it painted up real good and smooth and shiny. And then when I seen it, it didn't match. I grabbed that gun by golly and I went to painting again. And I said, there, I'll put enough on you this time. And then I'll buff you smooth that you'll have to match. But I don't think it matches. Yet, still, some more. I blamed it on the paint, which every painter or paint one or painter one or be blames stuff on the paint or a bug or something like that. And, and that just ain't usually the truth. Okay, I don't know if you can see the diff. Let me get this over here so I can really scratch it. Scratch both pieces up. Can you see that? Can you see the difference? I can barely see the difference, but even that's a different shade of that. I like this color better, I have to say. And if it wasn't for all the dirt and germs I got in it, let me try to hit this. There you go. Thank you. It's in the hole. If it wasn't for all the scruples I did on it, I would like it because I put I put the stuff to this ten years ago. Hard to think how long I've had this poor car. But if anybody knows how to get the the fenders and the hood and stuff to match the back, and repainting the whole thing ain't pro ain't a problem with me. But if it 
if it's still not going to match when I get done painting it, uh, that's a lot for a little. And uh, I never found I never found this problem. I've painted cars that were green and purple, and then you lay some acrylic enamel on them, and it turns out the right color. So, uh, I don't know. All I know is I, I'm going to have to lick my calf over. Here's the engine. Got it out of the truck. Bolted it up and lifted it up out of there. And, uh, of course, my hoist, chair picker, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it leaks off some, quite a bit, actually. So it gently eased down on the floor. And uh, I plugged holes, pulled the oil pump off, and I've got oil up to everything. And so I can start checking the checking the stuff. The uh, I'm gonna check all the torque values and pull a cap, pull a main bearing, and measure it, and pull a couple rod bearings and measure them. Just to see what's what. I'm pretty sure they bought a crank kit. Because it's got new pistons and stuff like that in it. <coughs> I'm good. And uh, that's the name of that tune. Uh, so uh, it's got a new timing chain. And... Down in Yanner, it's got a new camshaft in it. But that camshaft is dry. Hallelujah. There ain't a lick of cam lube on it. No horror at all. I mean, not a lick of cam lube on it. Now, I can, I've got, I keep cam lube and some other stuff. handy but I can't be assured of getting all of them and uh, what I've been reading is you got to run these rascals for so long to break the cam in now see that's a that's a new one on this old man uh, one of my buddies Jack Carter he's gone now bless his heart he at the very last he started building 427s, exclusively 427s. He didn't want to even look at my 428. I said, that's one better. He said, no, it's not. So he put, he put a 427 side oiler in a 64, 65 Ford truck with the FMX. And I think I built the FMX for him. Had a 9-inch something or other, big super duper rear end thing and he put that in the pickup true it was a cute little pickup short wheelbase and which I, I they look cute but I didn't I'm not a short wheelbase truck fan they're more might as well have a car short wheelbase trucks are supposed to be long wheelbase because they're for hauling stuff not for cuting around Anyway, he crammed this thing in there, and he had, I don't know how many zillions of dollars in it. There's that dad burn more. Anyway. Uh, and he fired that sucker up. And he held her on the floor. And this is in a small shop. Open headers. 427. Had two fours on it. All sorts of other goodies. Morosos and big stompy toes and electronic ignition looking things and he fired that rascal up and uh, it was cranking out it sounded like it was doing 10,000 but it was probably doing about 3,000 uh, 5,000 is a for me 5,000 is a big reach for a big block forward and uh Anyway, he said, blow or go. And that thing started smoking and 
and it rattled us that rattled the roof on three or four houses two blocks away and you know what it never blew up and he did some crazy things with that engine and then <coughs> excuse me he had a uh, I think it was a 69 Mach 1 it looked just like uh, Mr. Mach 1's car is yellow and and with black skunk stripes on it and uh, he done the same blooming thing 427 FMX no C6 this time and uh, he drove it to the house and I got pictures of it somewhere and he gassed that sucker and it rattled the windows all the way downtown and uh, it never blew up and I know he had it, his foot was must must have been three sizes bigger than normal people because it was always on the floor. He went, he just w lived that way. That's why <coughs> I'm good. That's why he's not here now. Is he lived in the moment and didn't save nothing for later. Save something for later because if you're young now, it don't matter. Whatever time you have, if you are now. Man, you got a lot more time to go. And uh, you want to be good for that time. You don't want to be all stove up like me. You have a lot more fun when you can do stuff. And stay out of the bed and things. But anyway, that's Jack. That's the Jack Carter story. Uh, he's heavy in these, in these uh, 427s. And snarled at my 428s. Which I had a 427 one time and it went to New Zealand in a container along with a whole bunch more stuff that I had, Holman Moody stuff and things. And they needed it a lot worse than me because he paid me more for this, the stuff I had than I could make in a year beating on stuff at the shop. <clears throat> But anyway, that's the way it is. If you can help me on this paint on this Mustang, that's probably my most concerning thing. Uh, you'll find out that people will be worried about the most stupidest things. And that the important stuff that they should be worried about, boom, slide off the back of their head, which they should probably do anyway. But uh, I'm, I'm concerned about that put it together I don't want it to look like a two-piece car but anyway I want Italians that everything's fine and Ronnie thank you again and uh, of course I love y'all and I want y'all to have fun today it's temperate today the breeze the, the, the wind is breezing good and it'd be a good day to sit on the porch Cross your legs and and uh, drink a little sweet tea and uh, watch the world twirl. There's not much twirling here, which is a good thing. You just watch the leaves twirl. But uh, this is a great day. It's a gift. Every day is a gift. And I'll run at them someday. So enjoy the days that you got. I'm going to enjoy mine. Probably going to go eat something and go to bed. <laughs> Okay, I love y'all. Y'all have fun. Okay, bye-bye.